Uh, my name is Ron Mealition, and uh, I've been sculpting dragons. Okay, and how long have you been making these dragons? I, I made my first one in 2004 for my brother. I found a little turtle skull right inside the lake and, and brought it home and just made it and uh, sent it to my brother for his birthday. So after that in 2005, I started doing it uh, more as a hobby. From the beginning to end, it takes about 40 hours. 40 hours? Yeah, about 40 hours. Okay. The first, uh, the first part of it takes the longest to get the right shape, and then slapping on the skin is the fun part. Well, it's all fun. Do you have an idea in mind before you start making a dragon? Do you design it on paper? Do you have it mentally, like a mental picture of what do you want to make next? Absolutely, I do. Okay. I, uh, I start off with a with a picture in mind of how it's gonna look and it never has worked out to look how I pictured it ever. And yeah, I, I sketch it out as, especially the wings, you gotta totally measure them. And, uh, but no, they never come out looking the same and yeah, I do have a picture in mind. What materials do you use when making these dragons? I use polymer clay. I get it from the craft shop. Okay. And, uh, and I use that for well, I start with aluminum foil and mm -hmm. wire, and I, I make the structure that's underneath the clay, and then I slap the clay on, and skulls. And skulls. What kind of skulls do you use? Uh, most of my finished pieces are using skunk skulls, mm -hmm. but I've, I've had other ones, uh, lizards, a frog from China, uh, weasels, whatever I find on eBay. Okay. Turtles are good. A giant boa. I got a big boa skull. Okay. Yeah. And what's a, a, a price that you would normally see on eBay for these type of skulls? Oh, it ranges a lot. I bought an entire two-headed skunk skeleton, which got me onto skunk skulls, and that cost me 500 bucks. This guy made a, the whole skeletal skeleton for me. Mm -hmm. You know, there was no structure, which takes up a lot of the time. I, I was able to like jump right in and do the fun part. Well, the least you've spent has been a couple of bucks. Yeah. And the most you've spent has been $500. Yeah. Okay. Was it because it was a rarity? Oh, Two yeah. headed skunk skull? Or yeah. Skull? Okay. okay. Yeah. And then you get that in the mail. Yeah. And then you kind of have an idea of what you want to make with it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, not right away, but I think about it, you know, before I start. So I got. That's the most I ever spent on uh, skulls or anything on eBay. Okay. Now, is there a big, is there a big like seller's market on eBay for these kind of skulls? I mean, do you like yeah. if, what, what? What would you type in? Uh, animal skulls? Yeah. Um, taxidermy. Taxidermy. Yeah, that's a good word for searching. Okay. But I think they're churned out of um, some kind of farm, like mink. I got a couple of minks. Mm -hmm. That's probably for. A lot of them, I think, people find and just put on eBay. All right, well, Ron, I really appreciate you, uh, you know, giving me a little time to discuss this interesting subject. Um, and thanks again. I, I thank you too. Thank you.